I want to do a short intro to the the series of videos that I'm doing. You know, just to my whole my whole aim at this series of videos is to you know bring to light the milk of the word, our our fundamental truths in Christ, so that as believers we can we can be carried on into full age and unto perfection in Christ and and uh, you know these things aren't being taught to the assemblies to the believers you know these things are being neglected you know and, and the gospel of Jesus Christ is not being preached and that is the power of God unto salvation you know I mean, we need to understand the the mystery of the gospel, as Paul said it. You know, the hope of glory, Christ in us. You know, I mean, and people have turned that into just lasciviousness and and wantonness and and I mean, people aren't even that are born again are not even referred to as saints or holy or sanctified you know people have pushed this lie of that we're, we're just sinners you know and, and if you have been born again of water and the spirit that is not the truth and that is not the gospel that the apostles taught at all you know and I mean no one's no one's it we've drifted away from the gifts of the spirit you know you got one person behind a pulpit you know thinking that he's dominating the whole thing and and the Holy Spirit is not given it his leave to to manifest himself in each believer that's why Paul said you know that you all may prophecy one by one that you all may be edified you know we're we're edified and built up by operating in the gifts of the spirit that's why they were given unto us you know I mean so I mean my my whole my whole aim and my whole uh, focus is the milk of the word our foundation Jesus Christ you know and I, I really think that pushing the emphasis of our foundation is so important because it's it's uh, uh, it's not being taught it's just not being taught and you know some of the topics like the knowledge of the truth the full discernment of the truth that's in Christ and and coming to full age I mean these things are just passed over and people think that you know because they've been a believer for a long time that they're mature and, and it's not even the truth you know in fact Paul told Timothy some are ever learning that never able to come to the knowledge of the truth that is the mark of of uh, full age because the writer of Hebrews says there's remains if we willfully sin after we've uh, come to the full discernment of the truth the knowledge of the truth there remains no more sacrifice for sin you know and Paul was talking about that same thing in 2 Corinthians 10 6 when he said having a readiness to punish every disobedience once your obedience is complete he's talking about coming into that full age you know and, and the gifts of the spirit bring us there you know and it's the milk of the word as the writer of Hebrews points out in, in chapter 5 verse 14 that, that trains the senses the spiritual senses of our mind to discern between good and evil you know and these are some of the, these are the things that I'm trying to point out 
you know, and I don't want to make this intro very long. It's just, uh, you know, like like God said in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You know, and it's because of ignorance that people are alienated from the life of God, as Paul points out in Ephesians 4, 18. <laughs> Talking about us Gentiles having our understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through ignorance because of the blindness of our heart. You know, people that think that they they see something, you know, don't even see because they were never even, you know, a lot of people were just being taught to make a confession and never enter into the faith, you know, because people aren't. People are misguiding people, thinking that all you gotta do is believe. You know? Dead faith without actions. You know, Paul described the faith that we need to have in Romans chapter 10 when we're baptized into Christ. So, I mean, we, I mean, we gotta, Jesus Christ is our foundation. He's the door. There's no trinity. You don't come to the Father by any other one but by Jesus himself alone who came in the Father's name and the Holy Spirit is sent in his name. You know, John 5, 43 and John 14, 26. I mean, what you, you know, this, I mean, these are, and these are the fundamental truths that I'm trying to, to bring to light, you know, so that, because people are, people have been, we can't please God in the natural. I mean, and that's the whole point. You know, it was like Paul said in 2 Corinthians 3, 6, God has made us able ministers of the new covenant. Not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. I mean, and, you know, a, a lot of people in the faith movement, just like Jude said, turn the grace of our Lord into lasciviousness, into wantonness. You know, it's like, I'm crucified, and it's Christ who lives in me. You know, it's like Paul said, if I must needs glory, I'll glory in the cross, for by it the world is crucified unto me, and I am crucified unto it. You know, so I mean, if we're going to lay hold of eternal life, then we need to conform ourselves unto the death of Christ. It's what Paul is describing in Philippians chapter 3. I mean, and that's, that's what I'm trying to push the, the faith. The faith. As Paul said in 2 Corinthians 13, 5, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Know you not your own self? How Christ dwell in you except you be reprobates. And in chapter 9, he, 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 he describes that. He said, I don't fight as one uncertainly as one beats against the air, but I buffet my body and bring it under. I make it my slave, lest ever have to even preach to others. I myself should be a castaway. So, I want to I wanna keep it short because this is just an intro, but, you know, I... Believers need this truth. We are justified by faith. And faith comes by hearing, but our hearing for faith comes by God's Word. Our hearing comes by God's Word. Our hearing comes from God's Word. And faith only comes by hearing. But what we hear that that is the that is got to be the foundation Jesus Christ no other foundation can anyone lay now we need to God help us because you know this is eternal life, that they might know you, the one true God, and Jesus whom you sent. 
You know, and it is through ignorance that we're alienated from the life of God. So, amen. Amen.